This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, Abadur Planner, Stoltenberg, Camp Power, and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? Today we're gonna test the Smart Hashtag 3 Brabus. It is like the Smart Hashtag 1's big brother, except for that they are not really that much different in size anyway. But at least, you know, the Hashtag 1 is boxier, taller, and then the Hashtag 3 is more of a sedan. So maybe it should be more efficient, especially now because we have warmer weather yeah so here you can see a quick overview what it looks like it is still small and compact it goes like a rocket yeah 3.7 seconds CO 200 so um let me see you can take a look in the back here i have these uh, door handles they are a bit uh, impractical sometimes uh, if especially if you have to open it with one hand but okay so see we have glass roof cannot be open or closed or anything like that and then okay space in the back and then the front looks like this and you had the Brabus B yeah yeah red seat belts even oh, okay so yeah uh, since this battery is the same as the hashtag one then we don't have to test the battery we only need to test the consumption so supposedly today it is 14 degrees Celsius outside Okay, so I'll show now that uh, we have to go to the starting position. Since it's weekday, we have to start from... Uh, so, okay, Minifun. Minifun. You have to avoid... Yeah, this area had there some uh, road construct, uh, road work. Oh, shit. So, let's get over there. But I think, uh, hopefully, we can check the weight over at the scale there. We'll see. I want to know how different is this hashtag 3 versus hashtag 1 when it comes to weight and consumption. And, yeah, at least those two things. And just like the hashtag one, we also have fake engine sounds, but here we have four different, instead of just two different fake engine sounds. Oh no, oh gee, it just got stuck behind a slow poke here. Man, I want to demonstrate something. Come on, okay. Go, go, go. Chop, chop. Oh, I put it tight. Oh shit, they're all out already. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's see. Wait, what is that beep? Oh no, no, it's. Um, oh, I have to disable this fatigue warning off. I have to disable the. Uh, there's some uh, speed limit warning shit. Okay, disable this. You have to do this every time, of course. There, alright, okay. Okay, and that, that was the, what was the name again? Smart Original, right? And then let's try Classical. Okay, uh, those two are the best, because then we have something called Interstellar. What the heck is this? Okay. Huh? Is that a bad joke? It is a bad joke. <laughs> okay, the last is called Explore. Okay, let's try and slow down a bit. Langsam, langsam, langsam. Uh, it resembles some kind of fossil sound, but uh, it has that spaceship uh, thing mixed in. No, no, no. Okay, so go back to Smart Original. Oh yeah, you have that bass and then classical. Oh yeah, those two man, those are the best. The two other, they, they are shit. They just don't don't even turn them on. Right, let's check the weight. Front axle, one thousand eighty. All right. The hashtag one was twenty sixty. What about this? Twenty forty. Okay, slightly lighter. Or I lost 20 kilograms. <laughs> we are now at Circuit here, Minnesota. We're going to reset here and start. So let's see. We just press and hold there and then uh, yes. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're supposed to do the 120 test. And you see that the Baustelle has extended all the way to a Minnesota bridge. Hmm, uh, hopefully, it's not too long so we can, uh, yeah, we can go faster soon. 
but uh, I will just compensate by going a little bit faster now after okay well and then there's a 90 zone here okay at least go schnell yeah there's a little slow down here but okay so I'll just go faster for a little bit and that should be good enough so that stretch was only around 500 meters before we had to okay now I have to slow down here there's uh yeah this is a very nice feature you click here okay you want to go to Rutsugdam you see that the car will estimate how many percent you will arrive with it claims 59 percent hmm okay let's see if we will arrive with 59 percent we have 79 percent now okay let's see yeah go but the minus here is that once you click go then you cannot see that estimated uh, range anymore uh, wow Mjosa is nice today sunny 12 degrees celsius we have to cruise at 124 on the speedo wait can you see anything oh uh, there kind of and here we have another nice feature we have temperature adjustment before charging or what it means is uh, preheating or i suppose pre-cooling in some hot places it's now off because i don't want it to interfere with the uh, stuff but i see that according to car scanner we have around 30 degrees celsius no, 29 yeah 30 degrees in the battery okay nice and warm and then look here if we go to trip here you can see lots of details about this current trip okay this is not uh, exceptional but it actually shows how many kilowatt hours spent huh? not many cars will actually will show you that but um here also look driving consumption so air conditioning takes only half percent right now because it's nice and warm outside it even shows sound system what okay, okay try okay can i can i make it go up Just play really loud on the beats sound system oh yeah Rusebus. wow i don't know if you guys can see it but um we have hastehu by the road that's a flower a yellow flower that pops out in the spring so this is a clear sign that spring is finally coming we had such a long and cold winter so over here it's 13 degrees celsius and that makes wonder for the consumption it's 220 watt hour per kilometer now the hashtag one it was colder and it was at 276 but uh, i'm not sure where the wind blows we probably have some tailwind right now we just turn around at Rutsugdan and we have 57 percent oh so the car was only two percent off not too bad but look what the heck happened to the map uh, oh okay where, where are we now well we are uh, north of oslo <laughs> this is so weird representation of the world so you want to have it uh more like this wait maybe okay oh okay oh yeah this, this is so weird man okay this is better right well, if you zoom out if i zoom far enough out and this is the way you know it right all right we're done with the test and um yeah First, we can look at the distance, 145.8. It's supposed to be 148 kilometers. So this car underreports distance by 1.5%. And then the consumption is 237. So the actual uh, consumption is 233. So that is a lot better than uh, the hashtag one, but the weather is also nicer. Okay, let's do the 90 test then. And every time before we start, we have to go here, disable fatigue warning. Okay, and then click here and the driving assistance. Go to assistance automatic speed adjustment this is super silly because every time you activate cruise control right here this sign it will automatically adjust it to the speed limit rather than the speed you are currently at so you want to disable that shit this is silly that you have to disable it every time but here okay understandable after the speed limit warning you just want to disable that okay off we go okay let's test the sound system then Nice, sound nice. Whoa. Nice and clear, deep bass, I like it. Gonna play this song, what? Gonna play kick off by evening, okay, whatever. The car's a bit noisy though so that ruins the experience oh yeah wow 
It sounds good. Nice and clear. No over uh, sharp uh, treble. What about uh, rumbling in the doors? Maybe a bit of rattling from the back. Sounds like. Okay. Last song. Oh yeah, the bass. Oh yeah. It is beats after all. I feel like it's lacking some of that punch you get from the booty master, but this is like the poor man's booty master, right? But how loud does it play then? Okay, it plays pretty loud with very little distortion. So, yeah, if I would rate the system, maybe an 8 out of 10. Beat, not by Dr. Dre anymore. I think it's beat by Apple from now on. Okay, we're gonna turn around here at Espa, but look at the consumption. 149 watt hour per kilometer. That is wonderful. That is in Tesla territory. But uh, I think it's because we had some tailwind and uh, downhill. So this is why it is important to do ABA testing. Okay, result from a 90 test, 172 watt hour per kilometer. And if you compare the hashtag one versus hashtag three, you see that uh, the hashtag three is more efficient, maybe because the weather is nicer. But uh, in theory, also the hashtag three should be more efficient because it's lower, it's more aerodynamic than the hashtag three, which is boxier. But also, eventually, I'm going to test the uh, Volvo EX30. I'm picking it up in two days already. So I'm excited to see how that one goes because it's also from Geely. It's like the brother from another mother. So how is the Volvo gonna be versus the Smart? I feel like the Smart interior looks and feels nicer than the Volvo from what I remember from the Volvo at the, the Expo I saw. But then how is the performance? It was in Volvo, it's supposed to be, uh, I mean, it's supposed to have a little bit bigger battery and even charge faster than the Smart. So yeah, we'll see about that eventually how it goes. But uh, my impression of the Smart is that uh, it is a nice car. Just a small minus, I need to point out this, is that uh, I don't like the way the region has been tuned, which is that it has a little delay before it applies more and more region to the to the maximum region it has. And that means that when you are driving manually and not with uh, cruise control, the region becomes a bit, uh, I don't know, it feels nervous. And that means that it becomes slightly harder to have a smooth drive, to drive evenly and smooth versus many other cars where the region doesn't act like this. So this is also something I noticed with the Seeker 001. It seems like it's the, the Geely software. So maybe I also experienced this with uh, the Volvo EX30, we'll see. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.